This is your investment update for April of 2018. Um, really volatile month and a lot of running in place and kind of going nowhere really. At the end of the month, uh, the S&P 500 and the Russell 3000, which is an index that measures kind of the broad, every, every asset class, uh, we're up 38 basis points, so up a little bit after all that kind of consternation in the middle of the month. Bond markets continued to sell off. Uh, domestic bond markets were down a little over 70 basis points, or 0.7%. Um, and international markets for the first time in, gosh, I guess about 18 months, uh, underperformed the domestic markets. The international bonds were down 1.76%. Uh, the 10-year Treasury began the month at about... 2.7% and ended at 2.95. Uh, since then, it's touched 3% a couple times. So the bond market continues to, to price in further rate hikes, which the Fed has continually now stated that they plan to do four this year. They've already done one. We would expect another one in June. Um, and th this Fed is, is very hawkish, and they are continually reiterating that they plan to raise rates. So I think uh, at this point, that should be kind of the baseline assumption that that will continue to happen unless something happens economically or if we had kind of a, a, an accident in the markets that might cause them to pause. Uh, that should be kind of our baseline assumption going forward is a quarter basis point hike every quarter. Uh, they may even start doing a little bit more if we continue to see some good economic data. So you could even see maybe a 50 basis point hike if uh, inflation picked up any more than it has now. Uh, but for now, we expect a quarter in June. Uh, value continues to outperform growth, although they were both up the same for the month. Um, growth is up for the year a little up over a percent and a half, while value is down 2%. We're starting to see kind of some mixed numbers out of uh, some of the bigger cap tech names in that growth space. So we would expect some mean reversion there at some point. But that trend continues to hold. Uh, growth, the Russell 1000 growth is really the only uh, equity index domestically that's up. The S&P um, for the year is down 0.3% at the end of uh, April. So really just kind of a, a nothing month uh, as far as market goes, although there was a lot of movement in between, but, but the headline number at the end isn't, isn't really anything to talk about. But we continue to expect volatility as the market's price and further rate hikes and kind of get used to the idea of rising rates. And we would continue to expect uh, value stocks to maybe uh, become more in vogue as that progresses.